Well, I'm supposed to be ice fishing right now, but I still cannot find a freaking auger in Maryland. So I'm at the river, as you can see right there, and I'm a little sketched out. I don't think I should park right there because my Hyundai Elantra is not going to be able to get out of that spot. Man, it's cold out here today, 30 degrees, and the water temp is going to be... Water temp is 36 degrees. Not going to lie, these are not ideal fishing conditions, but I'm out here, up for the challenge. Let's see what happens. So for bait today, we got some wax worms that I was going to use for ice fishing, but since, you know, I couldn't find an auger, can't ice fish, uh, brought them out today. Don't want them to go to waste. We're going to use them for trout, see if trout like these. Oh, well, there goes a the dead one. But uh, yeah, one of my subs told me that uh, he was catching some trout on them, so I figured I'd uh, give it a shot, see how, see how well they work. Let's cross this river and uh, get to that eddy over there and hope I don't fall, because if I fall in this 36 degree water, my day is over. Not gonna lie, this is a little faster than I was anticipating. Probably because all the snow is melting, or at least some of the snow is melting. So uh, yeah, this current's pretty quick, pretty fast, making me a little bit nervous. And actually, my buddy just told me that uh, he's a firefighter. He had to come out here to this exact spot and rescue a couple guys because they were trying to fish and got stuck out. They fell down and got stuck in the current. Oh, oh my gosh. I can see why that is. But yeah, I probably shouldn't be fishing here, but uh, YOLO. All right, this current is way too scary, guys. I need to try to attempt to get back without dying. I turned the GoPro off because I legit thought I was going to fall. I had to do a 180 so I could face I can face forward so I can cross back to the other side. Man, guys, if you ever come out to a river that's fast, be very careful. Do not underestimate nature. It can be scary. Oh, got him. Nice. All right. A little A, it's a fish. Yeah, they go crazy. <laughs> Trout number two for Brent. That's what I was seeing. I remember I told you I started pumps off up there right here. Whoa. Your second trout ever, right, man? Yep. Nice. Whoa, look at your mouth. <laughs> That's your second trout ever? Yeah, he, the, yeah. the other one was the first trout yeah, ever. You had to catch him. Oh, I thought you uh, said just over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never caught a trout before. Though. He's doing awesome. Wow, I thought you were talking about the trout. Yeah, dude, let me see that bait you're using. Bubblegum worm. Bubblegum worm. Oh, and Solomon yeah. is the one that's teaching us. Tell us a little bit about the uh, bubblegum worm, man, that you've been using. Well, I learned it from the old guys down here. I've been fishing. It's, it floats. I think it looks like they're, they're bait. It's, it's just, it works. It's all, it works. That's all I know. All right. I'm going to keep watching you guys and learning and see how you guys catch these trout. Yes, sir. Enough, dude. <laughs> Next cast. That's a nice one. Dude. Hey, you gotta start trout fishing more often, man. Yeah. Is this your first time ever trout fishing? Yep. You caught that last fish a minute ago, now you hook up again. Whoa, look at it. So found, slippery. Found the, money <laughs> found the money hole. Hey, you're the one who called it, Solomon. Who found the money hole? Your girlfriend just got, a, got herself a fly rod, so. Oh, so she, she fishes yeah, so too? I'm trying to learn how to catch trout, so I can teach her how to do it. <laughs> <They're definitely laughs> Good one. There we go. Fish on. Oh man. First trout of the day. I was finally, this is where I wanted to fish all along. I was finally found a spot where it's safe enough to cross. Got this little baby rainbow. Let me uh, wet my hand. Uh, so Solomon showed me the pink bubblegum worm. Then I was watching Brendan's technique. Even though he was his first time trout fishing, he was slaying him. And he was basically dead sticking these uh, little worms. And boom. We got a beautiful rainbow right here. Man, got him on the pink bubblegum worm. Shout out to my man Solomon for uh, hooking me up, giving me some of this bait. You know, live bait didn't work, which is surprising, but uh, this pink worm, uh, I don't really know what that's supposed to imitate exactly, but you can see he just caught that nice trout. And that's the thing, when you guys are out fishing, if you see someone fishing there, talk to them, see how they do, see what they're using. And a lot of times, uh, especially if they're more exper experienced than you, you can learn some uh, good stuff. So. I learned about pink worms, and I learned about wacky rigging them, and uh, you guys can see the result right there. All right, let me show you how I'm rigging this uh, crazy looking worm that I probably would never have bought on my own, but since uh, Solomon hooked me up, gave me a couple, 
I used it and you know what? It worked. I'm basically just wacky rigging it on this uh, 1 16th ounce jig head. It's a little heavier than usual for trout because uh, I need to fight this fast current. And it looks pretty crazy, not gonna lie. But you know, it's been catching fish and uh, let's see if we can get some more on it. There's one, oh, another one. Just rigged this bait up, catch another trout. Man, I, I'm not gonna lie, I tried Texas rigging it for a little, didn't catch any. I just showed you guys a wacky rig. Boom, wet my hand. Look what we got. Another small trout, but he's hungry. He's going for that uh, full-size wacky worm. Wacky worm. Ate it. Dude, this rig is crazy. I never would have thought of a rig like this for trout. I would use, I use something like this for bass all the time. <laughs> it's crazy what you can learn from other fishermen. And Solomon learned it from the guys who've been fishing here for 10 plus years, the older, the older guys. They love the pink worm, he says. So he's been using it. He gave it to uh, Brendan and Brendan, this is his first time trout fishing. Like I said, he caught two trout. He caught three trout actually. Um, the first one he actually foul hooked, which was really interesting. But uh, af after I saw that, I, uh, Solomon hooked me up with a worm. I came over here and uh, it's working. This area I'm fishing is textbook for trout, especially under these conditions. You got the uh, moving water right there coming down. It completely slows down. It's a deep pool right here. This is the slowest moving water for like a mile stretch on this river. Um, then you got the extremely fast moving water right to the side over here, which is unfishable when the water temp is 36 degrees. And these fish are just hugging the wall. They're really tight against that wall where there's the least amount of current. That they don't really want to move and they're hitting, they're hitting these baits really lightly. So I'm, I'm honestly surprised that the live bait didn't work. But uh, I'm not surprised to see that Brendan's approach, you know, basically dead sticking these baits um, on the bottom is what's uh, triggering these trout to get them to bite. Well, no more fish, but at least I got two. It could have been better than uh, getting the skunk, which was gonna happen if I didn't meet Solomon and uh, Brandon. But uh, yeah, I mean, I spent about two hours of my time here just talking to Solomon, uh, talking to him about different species, different spots in Maryland, stuff like that. Uh, so that was, uh, it was, I should have been throwing a line during that time, but it's all good. It's not a great day and it could have been a lot worse.